hey guys oh my gosh it's been a minute it's been a minute since i posted a video here on youtube well you know i'm busy and the only reason why now i'm filming is because in toronto we are in another lockdown so i'm not gonna work that's what's really been going on for my like my life in the past few weeks i've just been working i've literally been in doing school but also the holidays are coming around and i know with everything going on in the world but for me i'm looking forward to it but anyways so today i wanted to do fall look and i really wanted to do something super simple i feel like you guys have seen me do this look before but i just wanted to use like a, a few new products that i bought um but yeah that's basically it for my life update but if you guys enjoy this look please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button smash it for me and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I post up a video, please keep on watching. Let's get started with everything. So I'm gonna be using a few things I picked up. I picked up a few new goodies. So we're going to be using them. Some things I want to use you guys, of course, see me use like 500 times. But yeah, let's just, let's get started. Okay, so to prime the face, I'm going to be using the Catrice One Minute Face Perfector Primer. I picked this up like a few months ago. Haven't been wearing, really wearing makeup. And that's how it looks. I'm just going to apply this. And this is a pore filling primer, I think. So my skin looks like smoother and a little ashy, but smoother. I guess that's what we want, right? So to fill in my brows, I'm just going to go in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I literally got this when I think Benefit was doing half off, and I think I've been sleeping on this pencil. It's literally amazing. So I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows. You guys see me do my eyebrows all the time. Like, it's not even special. So we're just going to... Go right through it, okay? Cool. All right, so eyebrows are filled in. Okay, so eyebrows are filled in. I brought you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, so I am going to do my eyes first because it involves some glitter. So I'm just going to clean up underneath my eyebrow with the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade 090 Expression beige which is this shade right here just gonna use that to clean underneath my brows but as well prime my lid i'm taking my morphe 421 brush and i'm just going to use this to clean up my brows The concealer does not smell good. I'm just gonna blend out the concealer on my eyelid with my beauty blender. My eyes with the Laura Mercier loose palette. All right, so let's move on to this makeup look. All right, so I'm gonna be using a few new palettes that I picked up. I'm gonna go into the Julia's Place Masquerade Mint Palette. Oh my gosh. And I'm just gonna go into the shade Ada right here. And I'm going to apply that to my crease. It's my transition color. Oh my gosh, I don't know what brush this is, but it's just a large fluffy blending brush. The name is rubbed off. I'm gonna go now into the Frankation palette. I'm gonna go in with the shade Girl By, which is this shade right over here. And I'm going to apply that into the crease using my Morphe M300 brush. I'm just gonna focus that into the crease. It's kind of the same shade as this. Didn't really think that through. Whatever. Just gonna do it to both eyes. I really don't need this color, but I thought this color was gonna be a little different. 
but it's basically the same so okay so i'm gonna go into my huda beauty nude rich palette and i'm gonna go into this brown right here and i'm going to build that up and put that in my crease and outer corner Just going to, into my brush that has Ada on it and just blending this out with no extra product, making sure it is blended. So now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe M503 brush back to the brown here. I'm just going to apply that just to the outer corner of my eyes and the inner corner as well. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with my Morphe 421 brush. No extra product of concealer. I'm just going to sketch out the center of my eye in which this the color is going to go in the middle of. So because I kind of want a nice like bronzy look, I'm going to go back into my Pat McGrath palette here. And I'm going to take the shade gold right over here. I'm going to apply that to my lid with the Morphe 124 brush. Just a light gold brush right in the center here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back into the Frankation palette and I'm gonna go back into Chains, the dark brown, right over here. And I'm gonna go on to my Morphe 456 brush and just tap a little bit and just blend out the two browns together. I feel like this might just help blend this out but also lighten it up a bit. Not too much, I just want another, I don't want it to be super duper dark. And then I'm just gonna go back into my Morphe 503 brush and dark brown from the Huda palette and just pop that on top. Just going back in with my transition brush and just making sure I'm blending out the edges here. So just right on top of Gold Rush, I'm going to take Just Kiss from Different Cation palette, which is this shade right here on my morphe 124 brush again on the other side i'm just going to do one swipe i'm just going to press that right on top and making sure it blends with the brown as well so just the kisses on the center i'm going to go back in with my morphe 456 brush just blending out the edges here just making sure it looks seamless that is the eyes done so now we are going to move on to the face so for foundation i'm going to be using the makeup forever ultra hd invisible cover stick foundation in the shade r530 and i'm just going to oh lord this doesn't look good might be a Hair too light, but let's blend it out. Let's see. I'm using my Morphe Y7 brush. Okay, doesn't look bad. Definitely need to add more layers. All right, so for concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Catrice concealer, and I'm just going to highlight my face. I don't like the smell of this concealer. It smells like soap. It doesn't smell like soap. It smells like something, and I don't like it. I'm gonna blend it out with my Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso. And I'm gonna use that to 
contour my face just a super soft contour not too much and my nose and my double chin I'm just to blend out with my beauty blender It's time to set the face and to set my face i'm using the laura mercier loose powder and i'm just gonna set underneath my anywhere highlighted i'm gonna do a light light big and i'm just going to dust it off with my Morphe R2 brush and just dust off all that extra powder on my face. And I'm just gonna go back into the brown from the Huda Nude Rich palette and apply this to my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to line my waterline with the Urban Decay 24 7 Light On Demolition Pencil. So now we're just going to bronze up the face. So I'm going in with my Morphe Glam Bronzer and later. And I'm just going to use that to bronze up my face. Add some warmth back in the face. And then for blush, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Cream Powder Blush in Summer Breeze with my Jessa Powder Brush. Let's finish off the eyes. I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. You guys can see that. That is the one there. I'm just going to apply one coat of mascara. So for lashes, I'm going in with the Eva Beauty Ace Ventura Lashes right here. These eyelashes are dramatic. So I'm going to pop on these lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. Face is almost done. I'm just going to go in with my inner corner highlight. And I'm just going to go in with the gold rush again. I'm just going to pop that into, into my inner corner right over here. And then just to finish off the face, I'm going to highlight my face using the Desi X Katie Fuego highlighter brand spanking new you guys always see me use mirame but i got fuego and i was like let me try this i also want to get chasing the sun but now the lips line the lips i'm going to go in with the sephora rouge gel lip liner in the shade which is this molasses which is this brown lip liner just line up there. And I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Comfort Matte Lip Gloss Lipstick in then Fuego. I'm just gonna go in with my ABH Tara Lip Gloss. And then just to set my face, I'm gonna go in with the Catrice Matte Finish Prime and Fine Anti Shine Fix Setting Spray. All right, guys. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.